Uh, I am Dr. Yogesh Singh, Consultant Rheumatologist at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, there is an entity called palindromic rheumatism wherein individuals get episodic joint pain, joint swelling and restriction. These come in episodes, so which may vary from person to person. So they get joint pains for a few days and then they get better in between for a time period which may range from weeks to months. They again get another attack. Again they are alright for a few weeks to months. So this is what is called as palindromic rheumatism. There are a lot of disease entities which can cause palindromic rheumatism. Could be rheumatoid arthritis, could be spondyloarthritis, IBD associated arthritis, sarcoid arthritis. So there are a lot of conditions but the most common cause for palindromic rheumatism is rheumatoid arthritis. So in rheumatoid arthritis, this palindromic rheumatism is a very mild form of arthritis. Generally what we do is start an individual on hydroxychloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine takes about three to six months to have full effect. If at the end of six months, if an individual is taking hydroxychloroquine regularly, but continues to have joint pains or attacks. So in such individuals, we do add additional medications which may include sulfasalazine, methotrexate or leflunamide. So if in this particular case a trial of hydroxychloroquine has been tried for at least 6 months and despite that if the joint pains are still persisting or person has having still attacks, so in them yes sulfasalazine can be used.